My name is Neil Salas Griffin. I am the CEO of CodeNow. We teach high schoolers how to build software and start tech companies. Uh, I got involved in my industry because I wanted a skill set that I knew would be important for me to help as many people as I could. And right now, software and technology is integrated into the very fabric of our lives. So me understanding that puts me in a position to be able to solve a lot of problems for a lot of people. The biggest challenge I've experienced in my current role is probably balancing my desire to be directly providing services in the classroom as a teacher myself, but also being an effective leader and CEO. And that is something that is always difficult to balance. But I take pride and joy in the fact that I have to always find time to be on the front lines with my team in addition to being the kind of general strategist as well and trying to make sure that we're making moves, thinking about the future, but at the same time focusing on the now. So that's my focus, is making sure I balance those things. My management style has evolved in a few ways. I have really deeply committed to trusting my team. And in the beginning, when you're starting out and you've never done this before, you have a tendency to want to focus on you know, making sure every detail is right and that you're involved in every decision that's being made and that's just not possible at scale. So now, I think, as an evolving manager and leader, I'm really focused on making sure I'm empowering my team and trusting them to make decisions because I'm not always going to be around to be able to do that with them. The challenges in the coming year that I'm anticipating is probably balancing the fact that, you know, I'm running a nonprofit and I'm also running for office. So, uh, yeah, the fact that, you know, I decided to run for mayor of Chicago while also running a nonprofit and serving on a bunch of boards is probably one of the most daunting tasks I've ever taken on in my life. But I'm ready to do it. And I think balancing your time as not only a CEO, but also a leader and a board member of multiple organizations is difficult, but it's necessary if you love your community and your city and your customers and the people that you want to serve and your students. So that's all me. I would say the, the best business advice I've ever been given, it's fairly cliche, but it's, it's important, which is just be yourself. You don't have to be what anyone else wants you to be. If you can make decisions and you own those decisions, you didn't defer to someone else's advice or you know, put the blame on someone else, you own it because you're in charge, you're responsible, the buck stops with you, that's it. So own your situation, own your choices and your decisions and believe in yourself. What we pursue on a relentless basis to ensure our success as a company is making sure that every single customer, every single student that we work with is successful and happy. Their desired outcome, what they're trying to get out of interacting with us is what matters most, not us. What we provide is just a means to their end, to their desired outcome. So, so long as we're making sure that they're happy, we're good.